blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah, the Lord Yahweh, the tremendous God of Israel, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Mekadishken, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Rohi, the mighty God of heaven, the Lord, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has spoken with me, blessed people. Today, Monday, July 15th, the year 2019, the Lord spoke with me in a tremendous way this past night. And the Lord spoke by His mighty voice. Again, by His own mighty, most grateful voice, the Lord God Jehovah spoke aloud and said, Isaiah 34. He said, Isaiah 34. Then I saw the two dreadful prophets of the Lord stand before the Lord of all the earth and pronounce the judgment of the Lord tremendous, the ominous, the dreadful and most fearful judgment of the Lord upon the unrepentant nations of the earth. I saw the two mighty prophets of the Lord. One was slightly larger than the other and slightly taller a little bit too. But I saw them stand before the Lord of all the earth and before the nations of the earth. And I saw the two dreadful prophets of the Lord as they stood there, pronouncing the judgment of the Lord, the dreadful judgment of the Lord, upon the unrepentant nations of the earth, upon the nations of the earth, essentially all. Because as you can tell, all the nations of the earth have not repented. Then at that point, I saw the most dreadful hand of the Lord, the stretched, outstretched hand of God stretched towards the nations of the earth, and I, the Lord raised the, his prophetic finger, and he stretched his hand towards the nations of the earth, and then he stretched forth his prophetic finger from his right hand, and he Struck the nation, he struck them, and 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 each nation is struck, busted, and it passed, it totally busted, and split, and dismatched. It was a very shocking thing to see. A tremendous moment befell again today, Monday, 15th, the year July. Monday 15th, the year 2019, the Lord God omnipotent, the Lord God Almighty, the righteous judge, by his own most dreadful voice, the Lord God Jehovah spoke aloud to his two mightiest prophets of the Lord in a dream. And when he spoke aloud with his own voice, his own mighty voice, he spoke aloud and said, Isaiah 34. Then at that moment, I saw the two most terrible prophets of the Lord standing before the Lord of all the earth and standing before the nations of the earth and pronouncing judgment upon the unrepentant nations of the earth, the nations that have refused, they have refused to repent. And when they pronounced the judgment, a dreadful judgment, the fearful judgment of the Lord, the judgment of God, the dreadful judgment of God upon the unrepentant nations, then at that time, I saw the long outstretched dreadful hand of God stretched from heaven towards the nations of the earth 
I saw the long outstretched dreadful hand of the Lord God and when he stretched his hand towards the nations of the earth then he stretched his prophetic finger of his right hand it was one hand I saw the right hand that he stretched and the prophetic finger upon stretching the hand then at the end there he stretched the prophetic finger then I saw the Lord with his long outstretched hand the long outstretched prophetic finger of the right hand then he struck and struck and struck and struck and struck and struck and struck the nations of the earth and every nation is struck bastard he totally bastard and was besmudged totally crushed and besmudged it's like they bastard open while he pasuka he blasted them open. Blessed people. That is when I woke up in the night at about 3 a.m. coming to 4 and read from the book of Isaiah 34 as the Lord has commanded. Isaiah 34 says, Come near, you nation, and listen. Pay attention, you peoples. Let the earth hear and all that is in it. The world and all that comes out of it. Verse 2. The Lord is angry with all nations. His wrath is upon all their armies. He will totally destroy them. He will give them over to slaughter. Their slain will be thrown out. Their dead bodies will stand up a stench. Meaning rotting dead bodies. The mountains will be soaked with their blood. My sword has drunk its fill in the heavens. See, it descends in judgment on Adam. The people I have totally destroyed. The sword of the Lord is bathed in blood. It is covered with fat. The blood of lambs and goats. Fat from the kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Bosra. A great slaughter in Edom. And the wild oxen will fall with them. The bull calves and the goat bull. Their land will be drenched with blood and the dust will be soaked with fat. For the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of retribution to uphold Zion's cause. Hear the soul and the speak all. They will possess it. The great old and the ravine will nest there. God will stretch out over Adam the measuring line of Carol and the plumb line of desolation. The thorns will overrun the citadel Desert creatures will meet with hyenas and wild gods will greet to each other. The owl will nest and lay eggs should hatch them and care for her young ones. Come near ye nation and listen. 
The Lord is angry with all the nations. This past night, Monday, July 15th, 2019, the Lord God, Jehovah Yahweh, He spoke with His two most dreadful prophets by voice and by His own mighty most dreadful voice, the Lord God Jehovah spoke aloud and said, Isaiah 34. Then I saw the two most dreadful principles of Revelation 11, the most fierce prophets of the Lord Yahweh, stand before the Lord of all the earth, and stand before the nations, all the nations of the earth, and pronounce the most terrible judgment of the Lord upon all the unrepentant nations of the earth. Then at that time, I saw the most dreadful hand of the Lord God, God the Father himself, stretched toward the nation after they had pronounced the judgment. And then when he had stretched the tremendous hand of God from heaven, I saw all the way from heaven, the hand of God stretched down. Then at that time, he stretched the prophetic finger of his right hand. Then at that time, in the most deadly and lethal way, the most deadly and lethal, lethal way, the Lord began to strike the, he struck and struck, strike and strike, 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 strike. Take all the nations. And when he was striking, they were busting open, busting open, busting open. The Lord is angry. The nations have blackmailed the two most dreadful prophets of Yahweh, and they have refused to repent. The nations have blackmailed them and malice them, and they have refused to repent. He has unleashed the wrath of God, the wrath of Yahweh, upon the face of the earth. Repent! Repent ye the nations of the earth! The Messiah is coming! Repent! The two prophets of Revelation 11 are here! Repent! Prepare the way! Be holy! Receive Jesus! And be holy! The wrath of God is coming! It's unbearable! No nation can stand it! Just the finger alone was bigger than the nation. The Lord humongous, omnipresent, the mighty God of Israel is coming to judge the nations for failing to repent. For attempting to blackmail the two prophets of Yahweh. These are not your friends. These are not your friends. These are fighters. These are dreadful fighters. These are the ones that come to fight the Antichrist. So don't dare, don't try. You are mere mortals, don't try. Repent. Repent for blackness. Repent and prepare the way the Messiah is coming. Repent and turn away from sin. Repent Kenya, repent Brazil, repent Italy, repent the world, repent. And he said by voice, Isaiah 34, and Isaiah 34 says, come near you nations and listen. Pay attention you people, let the earth hear. And all that is in it, the world, and all that comes out of it. The Lord is angry with all nations. His wrath is upon their armies. He will totally destroy them and give them up to slaughter. And their slain will throw up their dead bodies. Their slain will be thrown out. Their dead bodies will stand up the church. The mountains will be soaked with their blood. Repent. 
Repent, ye nations of the earth. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the two mega prophets stand before the Lord, the Lord of hosts, and before the nations of the earth, and pronounce the unspeakable, unbearable judgment of God. Then I saw the Lord stretch out his hand against the unrepentant nation and strike and strike and strike, 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 strike every nation, strike, and they were busting open. They were busting, crushed, dismatched, totally bust open, crushed. The hand, the finger alone, I saw. The thing that was greater than the nation, bigger. Repent, you nations of the earth. The Messiah is coming. Turn away from sin. Receive Jesus. Be born again. Stop the blackmail. Stop the slander everywhere. Stop the slander. Stop the blackmail. Stop the familiarity. Repent, Kenya. Repent, Brazil. Repent, Italy. Repent the nations of the earth. I have seen the wrath of God coming. It's unbearable. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. To the Araba, Arab talk. To the part of this conversation after the Lord has passed the judgment of the Lord. Now, let me give you a little detail. As the hand of the Lord came from heaven and pointed at the nations after the two prophets of the Lord had decreed, I had pronounced the ominous judgment of the Lord, the terrible judgment of the Lord against the nations that have refused to repent, the unrepentant nations. As the Lord stretched his hand, then that hand became the hand of he that speaks to you and struck the nation very severely and marked them and smashed them and really besmashed them. That hand, the greater detail, that hand became the hand of he that speaks with you today. So the second part of the conversation again now, the hand of God, the same hand from heaven, it takes the glory of God and the fire of God and he brings with his hand and he feeds the mouth of he that speaks with you. Again, the hand of God Yahweh, the Lord God, the Lord Jehovah from heaven, he took the glory and the fire of God and he brought all the way and he fed in the mouth. He fed me in the mouth with his glory, pure white glory and fire. So these are dreadful times, blessed people. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to the genesis of all this mission on the earth when the angels surrounded he that speak with you and fed him with fire. But the Lord has done this, this July 15th, the year 2019. But the nations may know that from Central Park, when he began to now finally reveal them, when time arrived, the fullness of time, the appointed time arrived for, arrived for him to reveal them. And then he revealed them standing there before the Lord of all the earth. And the two pillars of the cloud of God pointed and settled on the two. You always knew that the next thing is going to be the Lord revealing them in a dreadful way on their mission, identifying them, finally introducing them to the earth. So this is the hour for the nations to repent and turn away from sin and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and be baptized in complete immersion, and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire, and be born again properly, and sustain your salvation, and reject all kind of sin, and reject evil. For the fear of God is the wisdom that will earn you a glorious place in the glorious eternal kingdom of Jehovah. The Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. To that shalom.
תודה רבה.